I have difficulty understanding the problems of today as Fresco states being technical. The concept of a resource-based economy did not come from a technically advanced society, but rather a poor behind island. So how can our problems be technical if they were solved previously without much technology? That's a great question. Yes, but only by ignoring modern invention and convention and tools and convenience. There, there's really no turning back at this point. The technical problems of the past um, consisted of a reduced state of functionality and operation. Uh, think about how dramatic it was when electricity was finally being put in every home. All the problems that had existed, such as keeping food cold, was now replaced by machines that could be powered by electricity, a refrigerator, that resolved the problem of food spoiling so quickly because of the difficulty of keeping ice in those early uh, ice boxes that were used. There is naturally a, every time new stuff, of that, new technological advancements occur, you're always going to have new problems occur. But this is just the path that has been created. Technology is incredible now. We can, instead of me having to travel distances of thousands, million, thousands of miles to talk to somebody in India, now I can go on the internet and communicate with them. Are there problems built into that? Yes, there are. But it's amazing. So why are we, we shouldn't think about it as far as um, turning back. There have been dramatic problems that people aren't even aware of. Some people don't know what the problems of society today even are. And that's one of the biggest things that I like about Jacques, is he actually understands what the problems are. Most people see surface problems. So the public has to understand what the problems are. And if you were living back in the day, you probably wouldn't even think about the, you having to travel long distances to bring a telegram to somebody as a problem. That was simply, quote, just the way it was. You didn't have the emotional interest of it being a problem. So as we learn more, we begin to identify other problems. We can base them on inferential logic derived from prior systems. And we can see that we have a lot of problems today that we could resolve, for example, maybe in the future. Something can happen where we can put ourselves in another place without actually being there through various forms of holographic imagery or what have you in real time, sort of like being inside of a television. I'm speaking very theoretically. Uh, let's jump even more dramatically to the Star Trek idea of beaming yourself to other places. Maybe variations like that could occur. As of right now, is it a problem that we have to jump on a plane and go somewhere? Frankly, with the, uh, the understanding that we have maglev technology that can go extremely fast, I see getting on a plane as a problem now. Why? Because it's not fast and efficient enough as it should be. I see getting on a plane that spits out all of the atmospheric issues from the fossil fuels that are burned as a problem because it's damaging the environment when I know that we can create transportation that does not do that, that's even more efficient. So the problems emerge the more you're aware of them. Well, obviously that was a redundant statement. The problems emerge the more you begin to understand what the consequences are. I hope that makes sense. So yes, uh, you know, unless you want to go back to hunters and gatherers, um, we're going to have to keep moving forward and resolve the problems as they develop. And uh, that's why everything is technical, because all problems are actually technical, ultimately. Because politics doesn't do anything, really. It's a matter of budgets in politics and control of the population to maintain the establishment. Technical problems justify just about everything you can think of. Even emotional problems, as they've been analyzed, come from environmental conditions, and they come from biological problems, biological hormonal conditions, and they're still technical in nature once you break them down. It's a difficult train of thought when you get on that level, but I, I see no reason why it doesn't hold true. There's a cause and effect reality, and therefore it's technical. Number six, 